katsu sandwich with miso slaw and a coarse grain mustard that you make yourself. 10 out of 10. The best one I've ever had. It's his first sandwich. <laughs> hey, I said it again. This is embarrassing for the whole family. A katsu sandwich? It's a flipping revelation, people. And I get so excited about making a top range sandwich. But it's the sort of thing that you need top quality ingredients for. And so, a little note on ingredients. Knowing where my food comes from, that it's been reared properly, the farmer's doing a good job, the land's being looked after, that's really, really important to me. And I try to reflect that in this channel. But what do you do if you haven't got time to go to your trusted regular store? So when Red Tractor got in touch and asked me to share with you guys a little bit about what they do, I said yes, because the Red Tractor logo assures farming practices around animal welfare, health and safety, full traceability from field to basket, and environmental practices. The Red Tractor logo stands for food standards around most foods, except fish and eggs, vegetables, herbs, fruit, products like dairy, meat, and grains such as oats. So when you're shopping for Red Tractor, that's the logo that you're looking for, people. Now, let's get this pork marinated. This katsu sandwich might just be the king of all sandwiches, but it's the little bits of detail that are gonna make people go, oh my God. Starts with the pork. We're gonna brine it in milk to make it super tender, but I'm gonna turn the milk into buttermilk because I wanna get some of that acid in there, helps with the flavor. So first up, let's make some buttermilk. Grab your milk, pour that into a container, and then take half a lemon and squeeze that in. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna split the milk and turn it into buttermilk. Now take a pinch of salt, a crack of pepper, and let's get the pork loins in. Okay, then make sure that they're all covered and then set that aside for an hour while we get the other ingredients ready. First up, let's make a slaw. Pour 400 mils of white wine vinegar into a saucepan, two tablespoons of caster sugar, a good pinch of salt, a teaspoon of coriander seeds, and then make sure you dissolve all the sugar in the vinegar, bring it up to the heat and take it off. Okay, take that off the heat to cool down and now let's get the vegetables ready. De-seed the cucumber, slice this, the same thickness as the carrot and the radish, put them into a jug and pour the pickling liquor on top. Now I'm gonna set that aside to pickle for an hour and I'm gonna get the white cabbage slaw ready. So katsu is a Japanese invention, right? So let's get a few Japanese vibes in there. So I'm going to very finely slice this white cabbage and turn it into a slaw. But the secret weapon in our constant fight for mega tastiness is miso. I'm gonna put a little bit of miso in with the mayonnaise, zest of lemon, put that in with the cabbage, and you're just gonna have this Japanese hint of loveliness, umami coming through for the katsu. So, most important thing though, slice your cabbage nice and thin. Now, you'll notice that I'm using my precision, super sharp, beautiful Japanese knife that we did a little video about last week. I want precision with this cabbage. It makes all the difference to the eating pleasure of the sandwich. So make sure that you use a sharp precision knife. Now I need to rattle through some pasta and again, nice mise en place, people. Zest the lemon. And now, let's mix the mayonnaise with the miso. So I need about three tablespoons of mayo to about half a teaspoon of white miso. Then put a little squeeze of lemon juice in, no pips. And then we're gonna get all the other ingredients in. Pinch of nice salt. And then look at that, look how vibrant and fresh that looks. You've got the citrus from the lemon that's just gonna make it stand out. And then you've got that earthiness and freshness of the parsley, all working with the white cabbage. But the white miso in there, oh, it's gonna make it so delicious. With the pork katsu, gonna be mega. Let's mix that together. Set that aside, and now let's make our own mustard. Mustard and pork, they were married in heaven a long time ago. They're perfect together. And what I've done here is I've taken some mustard seeds and I've soaked them overnight in some white wine vinegar and some sugar. And so you've got that balanced sweet and sour vibe. To that, I'm gonna add some salt, 
some cinnamon and some turmeric and I'm going to blitz them. And now what's happened overnight is those seeds have plumped up and now I'm going to put them in the little blitzer and blitz them down into this beautiful tangy paste. Making your own mustard, your own coarse grain mustard, such a joy. Let's get it in. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. So quick to make your own mustard, your own mustard on your katsu sandwich. How good is that? That tastes a thousand percent better than just a jar bought coarse grain mustard. And it's going to make all the difference. You're upping your game, people. You see what I mean about fresh ingredients? Using those and just putting those little tips has moved everything right up there. You can use those in all different foods, different recipes, but they are great standalone, beautiful garnishes. Katsu. Now you can see that the milk's turned to buttermilk and that the pork has plumped up ever so slightly. And what it's done is it's sucked in some of that milk and some of the acidity from the lemon. So it's gonna help with the taste, but it's gonna make it so tender. Now to dry that off, slice it in half, get some cling film, put a piece on the bottom, and then I'm gonna put a piece on the top. And then you need some implement of weight, a hammer's best, and now I'm just going to knock it down so it's all even around the side. And what that does is, is it just means that it's all even, you've tenderized it a bit more, it's gonna be so sumptuous. What you're doing is, is that you're spreading out the pork evenly. So don't start at the ends, start in the middle and work your way out and take your time. Don't go crazy. Getting the consistency is really important here. You want an even thickness so it all cooks at exactly the same time. Okay, that's done. Cling film off and now into seasoned flour, into the egg and then into the breadcrumbs. Those little beauties are ready to hit the oil. It's vegetable oil at 170, and we're gonna cook it until it's golden brown. Okay, so get your white cabbage, we're going to get that down onto one of the layers. You can see the flecks of lemon in there, which are just going to give so much. Then get your beautiful, juicy piece of katsu and introduce that to the party. Now, your homemade mustard. It's got a nice punch, but it's not too aggressive. I'm going to get that and just put it on. You know, and that's just three ingredients, but you've seen everything that goes in. Now, top on and let's slice it. Is that the best sandwich I've ever made? Like, I can't wait to try that. I know that's going to deliver. I reckon that with the pickles is oh, $7.50. $7.50 all day of the week. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment box below. And if you want to see more of these recipes, then hit the bell notification and subscribe to the channel so that when they come out, you know about them. Right, let's take it to the streets, people. You have not pulled the short straw today, boys. Okay, okay. Dom, we're down here on the front line of sandwich reporting. Uh, what are you saying about the pork katsu? One of the best. Well, the best one I've ever had. Yeah? Yeah. It's his first sandwich. <laughs> first con tonkotsu. Tonkotsu, katsu. Katsu, tonkatsu. Yeah. What's it saying to you? I just love the zest and the mustard. Yeah, yeah. It's the flavours, the seasoning, obviously the texture of the bread, and the quality of the meat. <laughs> Is there any more to say? <laughs> so, Joe, what are you saying? Fantastic. Yeah. That, the slaw is what makes it, I think. And the bread crumb like that. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, I didn't ask you, Dom, how much for a full sandwich? For a full sandwich? 7.50. 7.50. Yeah, I'd go, yeah, I'd go eight quid. Eight quid, eight quid, eight quid. Eight quid. Eight quid.
Don't speak with your mouth open. No, it's my just, bad. I just, my bad. <laughs> uh, what's it saying to Harry? It's fantastic, yeah, really like it. Yeah. Spread stands out, yeah, the whole thing, can't fault it. Yeah, can't fault it, can't fault it. Harry, how much, what would you pay? I'd go for nine quid. Uh, yeah, that. yeah, so yeah. No. <laughs> What's it saying to you? Um, super tender, super delicious. <laughs> really, really good. Good, good. Yeah. What do you think it's worth? Oh, um, six pounds fifty. Six pounds fifty. Mm. That's fine. It's amazing. I love the contrast of the textures, like the crunchiness of the slow and the bread and the cut's so amazing. And actually I was uh, gonna ask, where is the acidity coming from? So the acidity, you were saying that the pork's tender. Mm -hmm. So we, we marinated it in milk and we made the milk into buttermilk. So you get some lemon acidity there and then there's a little bit in the slaw as well. It really cuts through and it's an amazing contrast, I think. Amazing. Uh, what would you pay for a full one? Um, for a full one, I'd say, uh, 850? 850. Did you hear that? He said 850. <laughs> <laughs> so, Izzy was saying last time she was here that her family completely abused her because all she said on camera was... Delicious. Yeah. That so let's it. try and find some new words. Yeah? Um, What's he saying to you? I love the bread especially. That's the best bit. I find often when the bread's bad, it, it ruins, ruins the, the whole, whole thing. I think mm -hmm. that's a really insightful thank you a bit of wis sandwich wisdom there from izzy yeah um tasty it's delicious and it's nice and warm on this cold october day i said it again just she's an embarrassment to the whole family <laughs> sorry uh, what would you pay for the whole thing mm, i think 750 750 750 increase the peace and spread the love and finish your sandwiches a sandwich worthy of Instagram, if ever I saw one. Now you see the importance of using top quality ingredients and Red Tractor, well, they'll deliver on that for you. They give you that assurance. Mate, that homemade mustard is gonna blow your mind. You gotta make it. And then the miso slaw works a treat. Game changer. Do that for somebody and they're gonna be happy. Get yourself katsosani. It's too good to eat.